I'm Ev Hales. Welcome to my watercolour demonstration, Sparkle on the Water. There are four things. The paper choice, mixing grey, fast marks and learning to be happy. I'm using a second sheet of paper over my rough paper to create an edge against the horizon. This is a really simple strategy for creating an ocean line. The warmth in the sky in my raw sienna is the first underwash and I'm just going to let that dry completely. While that's happening, I'm going to mix some grey. Rose matter and cobalt turquoise are a good basis for a nice warm grey and I'm making sure I'm mixing a good rich puddle. A grey needs to have a flavour and this grey will have a warmth to it. There it is. It's a bit too warm, so I'll add some cobalt blue and this blues it off a little. Still not quite right. A little bit of raw sienna into the mix will neutralise those colours and bring it to a more neutral grey. There's the warm one with the rose matter and the cobalt turquoise. Cooling it with the cobalt blue and then neutralising it with the raw sienna. check that the paper is dry and then start the sky. There's a more even dark at the top and then this is broken lower down near the horizon as the small clouds form. There's nothing fancy about the brushwork, there's just a bit of energy in it. A bit more depth at the top will help and I'll add a bit of the cobalt into the grey mixture in order to facilitate this. Dry the brush and then a few deeper bits in the small clouds will just help give them a little bit of form against the horizon and a bit more dark still across the top. And hey presto, we have a sky and we have the ocean as well, all ready for the water. When that's dry, I simply turn the paper over the other way and paint the ocean the same deeper tone this time, a really well loaded brush and very fast marks. That's the key. Not a dry brush because you run out of paint but lots of paint but a very very fast mark and where the brush stops it stops. Where the sparkle happens it happens. You cannot really control this. You need to learn to be happy before you're happy and I'm happy here. I'm going to stop. And there it is, a fresh, crisp, sparkling ocean, all ready for the rest of the landscape. It doesn't need much, a few rocks, maybe a vertical, and there we are. A vertical, a figure, a few rocks, and a little bit of warmth in the water, all complete this very simple painting. If you've enjoyed this clip, you can subscribe on YouTube to hear when others will appear.